What if I told you the next high quality cinematic video tours you can create for your listing are hidden inside the static photos that you already took? Today I'm going to show you some AI tools that you can use to take still photos, create excellent quality video tours, and dynamic motion content for your social media channels. Welcome to another episode of Adventures in AI. My name is Philip Cake. I am a realtor with Compass here in the San Francisco Bay Area. I've been a realtor for over 20 years and prior to real estate, I was a professional photographer and filmmaker. And so one of the things that I've kind of wanted to do with this channel is to, there's so much talk about AI and there's so many areas that we could go, but what I'm gonna do for a little while is concentrate on content creation specifically for social media, because that seems like what we're all doing. Uh, so what I was doing was going through uh, YouTube and I happened upon a channel that had this particular, it had a particular tool called Amplifies. This was Brendan Upright's YouTube channel. So I wanna give a shout out to him. I'll leave a link to his channel. He has a lot of, a lot of videos about AI tools you can use as agents, but this particular one caught my eye and it is a way to take your still photos and turn them into a cinematic motion a video so you could have a video tour of your listing from your pre-existing still photos. Now I still think there's a good use case, a good argument to be made for having a cinematographer, a videographer come and shoot your listing. They can do some more creative things that I think are fun and just bringing another creative person into the mix I think it always helps us. Uh, but it might be the case that you have a listing and it's not a high dollar listing. You don't want to spend that additional money on having a video done. Or in this case, maybe you've already got it done and you didn't think about doing a video, but you can take those still photos, you can put them in amplifies and you can create this very, very good 3D motion effect so you could have a listing tour. Now, the nice thing about amplifies is it's very simple to use. So here are the photos from my desktop that I'm gonna put in Amplifiles and drag them into this pane and you'll see next to each photo there is an action or an animation. And so for each one, you select what you wanna do. Over here uh, for the first one, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do a push in because there's a doorway there, I like that. Uh, on the second one, it is truck left the third photo, I'm going to do a truck right. The fourth one, I'm going to do pedestal down. And the last one, I'm going to do pedestal up. And you have some other features in here, still shots, drone up, uh, rotate. So there they're all set and now we can click animate these so the other thing that this allows you to do is a voiceover you can type in and it'll do a voiceover i have not done this uh, but it also gives you the ability to have music so you can select music to go with your tour uh, then there is a overlays um, but it looks like this is in the beginning stage, so we're not going to do that. There are the photos. There, we'll click the animate, and there is the tour from the still photos. And now I'll show you the actual video as it was output. So they're very short scenes, but I think overall it's very good. I like the 3D effect. I love that pedestal up. Um, I think the pushing in is very good. That's where you really see a 3D effect with the doorways. So overall, I think pretty good for playing around with some still photos for a video tour. So when I was watching this though, afterwards I started to get the idea, instead of having a whole tour, I thought it might be fun to just take a photo and put it in different programs. The first one I put it in is Gemini, but I also tried out Luma and Runway and this would be a great idea, I thought, just to have additional media for uh, additional content for your social media channels. So here is the still photo that I used in this next program that I used is called Luma. And here is the prompt that I used. It's going to be the same for all three programs. And 
The only thing that I really don't like about this is that the prompt was for the camera to push in. It's kind of doing a rotation. However, if you look at that fern on the table, it's moving. So it added some kind of additional motion to the image, which I think is kind of interesting. Uh, this is just a draft version. You can pay, of course. I just did a trial to get up to a 4K. So I think this would be pretty sharp and pretty nice. Uh, and it looks pretty good. So the next program that I used is Runway. I um, put up the prompt up there again. And so I like the motion, how it's starting out. It is uh, following the prompt very well. There's the original video. I think it's pretty smooth. It's pretty sharp. And this is kind of a credits system. So even though this was a trial, uh, trial subscription, so to speak, or trial that I had, it allowed me to output a pretty high resolution video, which was nice. And you can pay by the credits, so you have to have to be locked into a subscription model on this program. So the next program that I used was Google's Gemini, and um, there's the pane for Gemini. There's the photo again, and here is the video, the motion that it rendered out. I really like the motion over the chairs, the pushing in. It's really very sharp. Uh, I think it's really excellent quality. Uh, the only thing that's kind of odd is that there is a sunburst that happens as you go through the living room. But otherwise, I think this is uh, a really excellent uh, rendering for video. Here is the Instagram edits. I put it in Instagram edits, layered some text and some graphics over it with my logo. And there is the output uh, to Instagram. So I took another photo from this properties photo shoot and I did the same thing, same prompt in Gemini. It's a slightly different effect because it's kind of coming down and across those succulents, although they kind of appear at the beginning. Gemini added this kind of lush tropical music. Uh, once again, I think the motion is really very good. The quality is excellent, sharp. So pretty nice from a still photo. There's a lot of possibilities. Right now, what I'm doing is just trying to kind of cut through the clutter, give you some good tips and tools to use, some best practices. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I hope you'll leave a comment below. Maybe you have some better ideas for things that are like this out there. I'd love to hear them. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you can and subscribe to my channel so you get notified of all the new content. Once again, my name is Philip Cake. I'm with Compass Real Estate here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.